Xbox and Asus just rolled out one of the biggest updates for the ROG Xbox Ally and Ally X, and that's default game profiles. Available today in preview, these are per game hand-tuned settings that automatically balance power consumption and frames per second. No going into the menus, no tweaking, no guesswork, just smoother gameplay and longer battery life across 40 titles at launch. But the bigger story here, in my opinion, is what this signals. Xbox is quietly building a more console-like, frictionless experience for Windows and window handheld devices. And these default game profiles might be one of the first real steps toward a unified handheld PC ecosystem. Let's break down what's new and why it matters for the future of Xbox hardware and Windows gaming. So here's the announcement over at Xbox Wire. This is news.xbox.com. And these are the new ROG Xbox Ally updates. Now, these are huge. Basically, what we're getting... Remember, the next generation of Xbox is a PC hybrid console. And a lot of people are like, I don't want a PC. I don't want a PC. I want the simplicity of a console. Well, Xbox is working towards making your PC con a console, essentially. And if they can do it, it's game over. This is a big step towards that. I think the smartest move that Xbox has made is partnering with ROG so that they can work through these features and you've got two years to fine tune and perfect your system. You've got two years of real world examples of taking Windows, quote unquote Windows, and turning it into Xbox. That's essentially what's happening. Your PC is an Xbox. The This is an Xbox game on an Xbox. That's literally what Xbox is trying to do here. What Microsoft Microsoft is trying to do. Again, if they can pull it off, I think it's game over. Now, here, here is the update today. New ROG Xbox Ally updates. Default game profiles available in preview. We've got, we'll, we'll play through this. Let me, let me hit the play button. So we, oh, we'll turn off the volume there. But you can see, uh, you got default in-game profiles. What does that mean? That, that these are game profiles that are handcrafted. There's over 40 supported titles at launch and it automatically puts uh, frames per second limitations on there uh, and power stuff. So there's no t there's no fine, t fine tuning at all. I can't talk. Fine tuning? It's fine tuning. There's no fine tuning. You don't need to go into the menus. You don't need to mess with anything. It increases power when the ga game dips below a target FPS and then it pulls back down when it hits those frames per second. It, they cap the FPS at 40 for these games to save battery when performance exceeds the target. Now, this works only on battery and it can you can turn it off in the armory crate system if you want to when you have it plugged in you remember when you plug it in you go into turbo mode so this doesn't apply at all i play mostly plugged in for the most part uh this is huge i think uh an example given by xbox is hollow knight silk song it gains about an hour of battery life while maintaining 120 frames per second because these are custom profiles. We go in, we'll do the fine tuning for you. That's all a console is. A console is a computer that has been fine tuned for you to just sit down, plug and play. That's it. That's what Xbox is trying to do here with Windows. That's what Xbox is trying to do here with the handheld. And so far, so good. I'm telling you, since I purchased my ROG Xbox Ally X, I love it. I'm in love with this thing. I use it all the time. Zero buyer's remorse, zero. And I can see the vision for the future of Xbox. And I think it's the correct way to go. Again, it's not guaranteed that they'll be able to pull this off. But they already are pulling it off for a bunch of games. It already is a pretty good experience on the handheld. A few years from now, when you drop a console that's this, when you drop your, your first party handheld, imagine where we're at. Imagine where we're at six months from now. Here's the list of supported games down here. Uh, it, there's more. There's there's over 40, and then they list the big ones here. Obviously, Call of Duty's in there. Doom is in there. Forza's in there. Gears is in there. Halo, Indiana Jones, Minecraft, Sea of Thieves, Tony Hawk, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So absolutely, uh, again, I think it's a must. Uh, I think it's good that these games are in there. There are some additional improvements here with this update. You get faster library loading. Just the nice quality of life feature. You get better gamepad response once you log in. There's that. There, sometimes there's a delay there. That delay seems to have been removed here. C Cloud gaming loads faster. That one I can attest to. I've already tested that one out personally. It does. It loads basically right away. That rocket takes off and you are cloud gaming. It's beautiful. This video is sponsored by something that I actually helped build. And I'm really excited to share it with you guys because I hit that wall myself. And it's called the reset. There was a point where I realized that something was off in my life. I work from home, I play games, I make content, but I still feel and felt completely alone, surrounded by screens, but nobody's actually there. I don't interact with anybody. 
So I worked with a licensed therapist to figure out how to break that loop. I implemented those steps, I tested them, and from it came the Reset Toolkit. It's a free one-page guide that helps you get unstuck when life starts to lag, mentally, physically, emotionally. It's not therapy, it's very practical. I did the work, it's helped me, and I did that work so you don't have to. And when you download it, you'll also unlock the Reset Newsletter. It's a weekly dose of real tools and stories about building a healthier mindset, especially for people like us who live online all the time, especially for gamers or content creators like us, people who work from home. Grab it for free right now at theresetgg.com, that's theresetgg.com, or hit the link below. Sign up for the newsletter because when life lags, Sometimes we need to hit reset. Uh, and then there's just some general stability and bug fixes there that have come in uh, with that. Now, next week, we are getting the game save sync indicator. That's already started to roll out. I've seen some posts about players saying, hey, this is this is out already. Uh, it looks like it's starting to roll out some preview. Uh, the game sync indicator is, hey, Xbox play anywhere. I want to save my game to the cloud. It is saved. Here's your save date. It shows up in the top left hand corner. That's going to be big as well. So very, very excited for this. Remember, we're also getting the full screen experience for all PC devices including handheld devices like previous versions of the ROG Ally. So you're not just going to need the Xbox, but everyone's going to benefit from this. And they're going to learn even more by having this Windows full screen experience as well. Now, why does this matter? Ultimately, because it's what we're talking about. This is a huge step towards console on Windows, towards your PC becoming an Xbox. That's the way to think about it. Don't think like, I don't want a PC. No, no, no. But what if your PC was an Xbox? And by that, I mean, what if it was as simple to use? You fire up your Xbox, yeah, which which has the freedom of a PC. You could get all your PC games from Steam, for instance. You could get all the mods and add-ons, but it's got the simplicity of an Xbox. It is an Xbox. That's huge. And I think it's the tweaks like this that provide that plug and play experience. That's what we want out of an Xbox. The handheld optimization is the strategic priority for Xbox for this very reason. This is a pipeline into the future of Xbox in the respect that, hey, where what are the pain points for this handheld device? What do we need to do to make this plug and play? Let's do that. Okay, we're gonna go through and customize these profiles. Let's do it. Let's put a team on it. Let's make sure that this is done. Let's get as much here as we can so that players can benefit by having this plug and play experience, by having this console-like experience on our handheld. You're getting this UI. They're able to test out the Xbox full screen experience. You're getting all kinds of improvements constantly upgrading here. And we're, this is leading into that next generation of Xbox. I, I, again, some might say, oh, you're a shield. Why? Because I'm excited? Because I think this is legit? Because I'm excited that my device is working better than ever and has given me the freedom to play any game that I want, wherever I want, however I want. Ooh. And I think these updates honestly get rid of the biggest weakness of Windows handhelds. And what is the biggest weakness of Windows handhelds? Windows. <laughs> Battery life, background tasks that randomly happen, uh, updates that break every program on your computer. There's import, input jank and, and quirks that come. There's setup complexity. I mean, when you set up the ROG Xbox Ally X for the first time, it took an hour. And it's like, this should not take that long. You can figure this stuff out as you go through. You get through it. And what you're creating is an Xbox. That's what you're creating. Your PC is no longer a PC. Your PC is literally an Xbox. That's the marketing. It makes sense, guys. That's the marketing there. Again, I think partnering with Asus was probably the smartest move that they could make 100%. Uh, and I, th I think it's huge. I would love to know what you guys think. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Do you like this direction? I do. What if your PC was an Xbox? What if it was? Do, do you do you now have an uh, a more favorable view of it or a less favorable view of it? Let me know in the comments below. Again, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to this channel. My name is Xbox Gamer. We drop videos like this all the time right here. Have a great rest of your day. It's a holiday week here, so we don't have as much videos dropping. But have a great holiday. Have a great rest of your week. We'll see you next time. Bye 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 bye.